Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. So here we are arriving in Heckscher Park in Long Island, New York. Here with my good friend, Mr. Vic. Hey! Vic uh, recently started a travel, so if you're ever traveling New York or Long Island, definitely check it out. He does- uh, Travel with Vic. Yeah, travel, travel stuff. Here we are to do the Caribbean Foods Bun and Cheese Contest, Caribbean Delights. Um, so this is an interesting contest. I'm not gonna lie. So I came down here because I want to see all my friends hang out. We got Mr. Dan Kennedy, Andrew Poole, we got Molly Schuyler all participating in this contest. I believe another uh, other few other individuals. So this is their first to finish contest. So we'll have like something like eight items or seven items in front of us. First to finish those items win. It's not my preferred style of contest. I know I much prefer a five minute or a 10 minute contest. So I don't really care what happens with the outcome of this contest. I'm gonna give it my best. We're gonna have a lot of fun and that's all that really matters. So let's get eating. Let's show you the contest. Let's have fun. Getting ready. All right, so who's ready for this? Come on. These guys, these guys are about to do this super fast. Don't blink. You'll miss it. We need your excitement. Pump these guys up. Let's go. I want everybody to join me on the five count. Eaters, are you ready? Everybody's ready? All right. Let's go. Give them a five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Place. Yeah. Molly 
and Dan, you couldn't even tell the water splashed everybody. On the front here, I know you guys have a splash zone going on. Molly finished in second place with 128.71. A minute 28 seconds. That's flying. And Dan the Killer Kennedy with the win today at a minute 26 and 3.3. Crushing it. Next time on, well, whatever you want to call this show. Entertainment brings you the eaters today. Maybe the food delight brings on the food. Um, Matt, Matt, the winner from the bunny teas. The quickest to finish. They got seven patties on every plate up here. They got their second stomach open for business. And everybody's ready to go. Let's go ahead and run down the line again. We got Taylor Denton from Queens. Jimmy Ferricato from right here. <laughs> Molly Skyler, number one competitive leader, female competitive leader in the world. Dan Killer Kennedy, Joe the Sexy Canadian, and Andy Snacks Pool, ready to do it again. Yeah, Dan. Four, five, four, three, two, one. To be continued. So a huge thanks to Miss Molly, my mother in eating. Uh, congratulations today, girl. This is Joel the uh, baby maker Hansen. Joel the baby maker with Molly the mother Schmermer. Schmermer, mini member, mini member. Thanks, Molly. Pleasure, and hope to see you soon. Absolutely. See ya. Huge thanks to Mr. Dan. Dan, great to see you, my brother. Absolutely. Also, Mr. Andy Poole, great to see the both of them. My, my family in eating. Congratulations to them both. Both did all really well today. And last but not least, huge thanks to Mr. Matt, the MC. The guy is looking spiffy as hell. So that, everybody, thanks for tuning in, guys. Look forward to seeing you again. And until next time, happy eating. Here in Greenwich Village, uh, here's a, I guess, a very notable, beautiful corner. We have a uh, village scar shop, and also, way back there, that is the new World Trade Center. So 9/11 unfortunately took down the old World Trade Center, the Twin Towers. So now they have the new World Trade Center it's down here off the water. Uh, so this is called Hudson River Pier. So this is a pretty good looking, pretty cool looking spot. And here, let me show you. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust my camera. So, you have the city in the background. Then over there you have New Jersey. So it'd be like uh, Jersey Shore, or not Jersey, Jersey City, Hoboken, all that stuff over there. Just kind of green space, a little bit green down the pier. And uh, yeah, so I guess all these piers used to be abandoned and then they just turned them into like little city parks happening spots. Threw some grass on them. It's very scenic, it's very beautiful, so I don't blame them at all. So we're just down here, we're by uh, NYU, so New York University. And this is uh, called the Stonewall Inn. So this is a place, I guess there's a lot of history here. Kind of like uh, LGBTQ plus history. So pretty cool. I guess it's a bar now, they do lots of cool little events here. But yeah, just another site that we ended up seeing, coincidentally.
and then really quickly I'm just gonna inform you or tell you what a bun and cheese is because if you're like me I was unfamiliar with a Jamaican bun and cheese actually is so the bread is like a spiced bread uh, kind of like a fruit cake a lot of people eat at Christmas or like a spiced loaf of some sort and like a fruit cake it's very very dense it's very very sugary it's very very thick um, and then it has a slice of processed American cheese in between and that is a bun and cheese to eat it's very different from a normal bread. When you eat a normal bread and you put water to it, it kind of falls apart or degrades. This, there's so much residual moisture in it that the water just kind of turns it into this big clump. So it is a very difficult food to eat. Uh, definitely have to be used to it and definitely a choking hazard. But anyway, so that's what a bun and cheese is. So basically a spice bread, kind of like a fruitcake with cheese in between. And honestly, I really, really did enjoy the taste of it. It tasted absolutely great, kind of like cinnamon, cardamom, um, allspice, like a winter fruitcake we often have in North America. Definitely enjoyed it. Would recommend.